G'day gang, Game Will You Dan here. How you going? Back in the Elder Scrolls Online. Hello, Laranauda. I've captured one of the books. It mentions this ruin specifically. All very exciting. How so? The Reliquary of Stars was created to preserve knowledge. This we already knew. But the book speaks of a deeper level, closed off from the rest of the ruin. I suspected the heart of an Umeril was hidden somewhere in the ruin, and now I know where. Where is it? If this description is accurate, the entrance lies somewhere in the Hall of Might. But there's something else. Would you come with me? Alright. Thank you. Tedrini has behaved quite erratically since his return. Yeah, and well, what else you got to tell me? I wish I could RP walk, but I don't know what the button is. <laughs> so I'll just do this strange sort of dash shuffle. This should be far enough. When you went searching for my assistance, did you see anyone else? Anyone intelligent, I mean. Spectres don't count. It was a Daedra named Dukeas, eh? In the flesh gardens? Damn. That's what I was afraid of. The book mentions her specifically, some sort of caretaker. Her specialty was... Well, there's no easy way around it. She controlled the minds of others. It seems even the Aliads feared her. You think she's controlling your assistant? Maybe. Tedrini hasn't been the same since he returned. He's normally so enthusiastic about his studies, but he's withdrawn into himself. It's downright unsettling watching him suffer like this. What do you want to do about it? I'd like to run some simple tests for signs of Daedric influence. While I do so, would you bring Behilir with you to search the Hall of Might? I suspect the heart of Enumera lays within its walls. All right. Wonderful. If this tome is correct, there's a passageway hidden in the library. I'm sure you and Behilir will find it. I heard my name. What do you need? Behilir, our friend needs your help in the Hall of Might. The Hall of Might? So you think we found it? Oh, exhilarating. Lead away, my friend. Behilir, how did you hear us from all the way over there? I thought we went over here so we would talk in secret. Larinalda? Okay, fine. Sorry. I probably shouldn't have brought that up in front of Bailey. But now he knows. <laughs> Alright. The Hall of Might. Bailey is cool. He can walk through walls. It was at the end over there. Skeletal Inferno Infernal. This looks promising. Let's start searching. The Black Air. We know not when Uke's I eh? first tired of a duty began eliciting her entertainment from unsuspecting me. Perhaps it was a passing fancy before its culmination. If it was, this went undetected by her masters. In monsoon season, when the street was full and even, and uh, the grot oaks fought to keep the soil beneath them, the master of archives and half his assistants opened the mighty doors to the reliquary. Taking flasks from their hips, they drank deep, turning to stone in the threshold. Propped open by their petrified forms, there was nothing to stop the rain. Eight months of wet and exposure to the elements found even our best-kept tombs bobbing like lilies, awash in a paper-strewn sea. It must be here. When asked what led her to forsake her duty, Ukeze laughed and dismissed us as fools. As punishment, we stripped her of her physical shell. She would no longer freely tread our halls. Knowledge to keep her occupied by their heart of the new Mario, we bound her in the deepest vaults, where she must be content to watch, to listen, and to serve. I'm sure she was happy with that. 
In time, we realized we required a guardian, one as ageless as our as our repository, to ward all our histories against Lorcan's children's all-consuming march. We scoured the plains of oblivion in search of such a being. Many were found wanting, some the right hands of Daedric princes, others less known denizens of its darkest corners. In time, the one for whom we searched found us. Ukeze was her name, a mighty Dramora of great skill capable of preserving the most delicate substances against the vitriol of our most destructive conjurations. We summoned Ukeze and bound her to this space for so long as its stones would last. She would walk its halls and explore our most well-guarded secrets in exchange for her stewardship. Uh, Horvor, horticulture, homilies? Hmm, quite a few books on that. We bound her to the foundation and the very ground beneath. So powerful was this binding that she will remain long after the ruins have crumbled to dust. We trust her to keep her task. But what is time to Daedra? The remnants of Sirod. When Alessia's rebellion sent the hard landlords fleeing from their manses, they took their knowledge with them. While some fled to the fens of Black Marsh and others to the northern reaches, most flew to Valenwood. After many years amongst the Bosma, they amassed a storehouse of information. Realizing a need to preserve our knowledge against the ages, they excavated a cavern east to the mighty Strid. There, in its alabaster depths, they carved great oh, halls and sealed them against the ravages of erosion and time. Should have realized. They summoned our greatest architect to do these things, and a great enchantment was placed upon its walls to stave off putrefaction and decay. The ruins would stand until the white gold tower fell to dust and bone in the ashes of old Sirod. They would deliver our memory for generations to come, and seal us as the immortal masters of Tamriel itself. Over here! There's a draft coming from this bookcase! The bookcase is protected by an ancient grate. Yet there seem to be books missing from its shelves. Examine the empty locations. Each space is marked by a faint groove as long as long as a book. Oh, we're gonna do it. Okay. Numeril. I never thought I'd hold it! In my own two hands? Well, puppet hands count as my hands. The power! It's exquisite! And I have you to thank. And now, I really must take this Bay Helia puppet for a stroll. Let's oh. see how fast it can run. Pursue him. Okay, but hang on. The business that I'm loading my equipment has been completed and I have sent the portals on their way. A return on the first time's hire with supplies and I am finally alone with my thoughts. Uh, success, I was able to affect the opening of the passageway through careful application of alteration spells. Such a clever solution will surely draw the admiration of my peers in Somerset. But for the moment, true discovery awaits. It's time to discover what secrets this round of query. Pools. I'd love to read the rest of it, but we have to chase this guy. Loot, loot, loot. 
chase him down. Once I have my body back, the mortals will suffer. I'll make them whole. I don't have time for this. This really is too easy. Finger, what are you doing? Crack it open. That Ronaldo. Bayhelia suggested to me. Let's do that again. What happened? Why did Bayhelia sound so strange? Lucchese controls him. She has the heart of a new Maril. Bayhelia suggested Tadrini was under her control. A ruse, and one I should have seen. But if Ukazi has the heart of Anumaril, she can use it to restore her spirit to her body. We have to get it back. Did you see where she went? Through the door. We've never been able to open it, and I don't know where it leads. Quickly, after her. I'll attempt to restore the wards here, should you fail. We can't allow a Daedra to wreak havoc with the heart of Anumaril. No, we can't. I'm going in. Reliquary Vault. The most famous burglar in elsewhere's history, Ra Jin, is said to have stolen a tattoo from the neck of Empress Kin Kintira as she slept. Brother Mikel Karkuxor. Kar Kar Varieties of faith. Ra Jin. Ra Jin. Do we, um. I'm sure we had something to do with him over there and elsewhere. Speaking of which. The new expansion, I think, is going to be announced tomorrow. And with one final shift. Yes, it's working. I can feel it. Go. Oh, it's right there for the taking. The blood red crystal is cold to the touch. Tiny streams of energy flow from your hands into its crimson depths. Lucchese. It's time to kick Where some is butt. That ugly thing? It should be here. Burning eyes. Oh, what happened? The savage books. Down she drops again. You think me defeated so easily. Yes, again. Bring the heart of a new Maril to Ranada. Okay. 
can do. You! I hadn't thought you'd make it out alive. Ukazi must have been formidable alone. With the heart of a numeral in her hands, I can hardly imagine. You do have it, don't you? Yes, I have it right here. Wonderful. When all the flying books fell, I knew it had left the ruins. I'll return it to the Elden Root Majors Guild, per our agreement with the King. We won't need to worry about Daedra finding it there. King Kimura and Eredan needs it brought directly to the Ori. Very well. So they're really going through with it, are they? I'd pay my weight in gold to see the Ori working. I'll personally ensure it reaches there without further trouble, don't you fear? What will you do now? After I return it to the Orrery? Perhaps I can research its properties once the ceremony is complete. If the Queen allows, of course. I'm not one to stand in the way of royalty. See you later, Lara. Hints. That Ronaldo will bring the heart of Venumeril to the Ori. Thanks for the hint. Alright. Choose one. Felhide, Ebony Ingot. Thank you very much. I will take a little bit more magic up. That's six points to spend now. Have a look at that later. For now, we do have that two-handed weapon. That looks kind of cool. Try that out. Get some maximum health and a little health recovery. Very good. Very good, very good. What else we have here? Max stamina and reinforced. Okay. I think we're good. Fine conservator data now. So that's going down south. Campsite down here. A boss down there somewhere. Nobody around to help take him on though. It's gonna be a bit of a drop. Burn. Ride. Cannot catch us. Uh oh. <laughs> I think I see something ahead of us. Something that I may not be able to avoid. Get rid of this troll first. Yes. All right. Good. Let's go and have a chat to this guy. I've captured one of the books. It mentions this ruin specifically. All very exciting. 